NASA's new James Webb Space Telescope may be able to detect evidence of artificial light on the nearby exoplanet Proxima b, astronomers predict. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today, we'll be looking at the James Webb Space Telescope discovering artificial light on Proxima b. Yeah, you heard it right. The study by a team including controversial Harvard astronomer R.V. Loeb suggests that the optical telescope can be configured to spot evidence of LED light on the planet Proxima b, orbiting Proxima Centauri 4.2 light years from Earth. Proxima b was discovered in 2016 and is thought to be a rocky terrestrial planet slightly larger than the Earth that some scientists predict could contain liquid water. It orbits very close to the small red dwarf star, so is likely to be tidally locked with a permanent night side and Loeb suggests a civilization may deploy powerful mirrors or require very bright LED-style lights to illuminate their cities. They suggest that using the near-infrared instrument on the James Webb Telescope and looking for telltale signs of LED light waves in the light from the planet and its host star, they will be able to detect this artificial light if it exists. Professor Loeb has spent more than a decade predicting the existence of aliens and suggesting ways that they may be discovered. He is involved in the Breakthrough Starshot project to send laser-boosted light sails on a trip to Proxima Centauri at high speeds, reaching the star in decades. The astronomer also wrote a paper claiming the interstellar asteroid Oumuamua was humanity's first contact with an artifact of extraterrestrial intelligence. He is now turning his attention to Proxima b, which for many alien hunters is a prime candidate in the hunt for signs of intelligent alien life outside the solar system. The planet is 1.27 times the size of Earth, sits within the habitable zone of its star, so may have its liquid water on the surface, and is just about 4.2 light years away, which in interstellar terms, that is practically on our doorstep. However, as the star is relatively small, this habitable zone is very close to the star, meaning the planet is tidally locked, with one side always facing the star. There is also a speculation that it is very unlikely that life could develop on the day side due to a constant steam of intense radiation from its host star. Proxima b orbiting just 4.5 million miles out, or about a tenth of the distance Mercury is from the Sun at its closest point. Radio signals have already been detected from the area around Proxima b. However, radio astronomers believe that this was likely just interference from natural sources. It is the tidal locking that prompted Professor Loeb to consider the possibility that LED lights may be detectable from Earth with a powerful James Webb telescope. Due to launch later this year, the James Webb Space Telescope will have a wider spectrum view than its predecessor, Hubble, and operate further out from the Earth, in a solar orbit 930,000 miles from Earth. The team investigated whether artificial lights could be detected on the dark side of Proxima b by computing light curves from the planet and its host star. The two different scenarios we consider are artificial illumination with the same spectrum as commonly used LEDs on Earth, and a narrower spectrum which leads to the same proportion of light as the total artificial illumination on Earth, they said. We find that the James Webb Space Telescope, the JWST, will be able to detect LED-type artificial lights, making up 5% of stellar power. Our predictions require optimal performance from the near-infrared spectrograph, the near-spec, instrument, and even if not possible, with JWST, future observatories like LaVore might be able to detect this artificial illumination, they explain. LaVore, or the Large UV Optical IR Surveyor, is a concept designed for a major new multi-wavelength space observatory being constructed by NASA. If James Webb is able to detect the narrowband light that is reminiscent of LED bulbs, it will be because it will be able to characterize the atmosphere of the planet. Doing so will allow researchers to use instruments on the observatory to detect how much energy transport occurs on the planet and then perform calculations of light curves to determine whether they match those of an LED light source. To come to the conclusion that it may be able to detect artificial light, Loeb and colleagues use the JWST Exposure Time Calculator. This tool allows astronomers to predict what can be detected in any given time period based on predefined settings before the observatory launches. It allowed them to determine the likelihood of detecting different flux values and detecting those with a wavelength that matches artificial light levels that should be expected from a civilization living in permanent darkness. Proxima b is tidally locked and if it has a permanent day and night side, the civilization might illuminate the night side using mirrors launched into orbit or place at strategic points, the authors wrote. In that case, the lights shining onto the permanent night side should be extremely powerful, and thus more likely to be detected with JWST. We have found that JWST will be able to show the existence of artificial illumination for the standard LEDs 
500 times more powerful than those currently found on Earth's, and for artificial illumination of similar magnitude to Earth's. An unrelated study also exploring the potential uses of the James Webb Space Telescope suggested that it could spot signs of alien life as soon as 2026. It has the ability to detect signatures made by living creatures, and Ohio State researchers say that it could find life on another planet in under 60 hours. Graduate student Caprice Phillips said the results of her study show that we may realistically find signs of life in the next 5 to 10 years. Phillips calculated that when the James Webb Space Telescope launches in October, it could feasibly detect ammonia around gas dwarf planets after just a few orbits. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so that you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video.